Ay, baik dia shut down. Eh, shut down? Ay, baik dia shut down. Okay. Um, I still never the car this. So guys, the bike literally just died on me. Quite literally, the bike just died on me. You think that I fear it? What is up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Today, we are starting out here at Six Roads, St. Philip. And we're gonna be heading out on a ride now. Hold on. Yeah. So yeah guys, like I said, we're gonna be starting out this right here in Six Roads. As you can see, we're actually right here by Emerald City. And um, we're actually waiting for my guy here to get out of the uh, supermarket right now. So yeah guys, today the plan is to hopefully make it down to Oysins. Um, so yeah, we're aiming, we're aiming to get down to Oysins today and then um, outside of that, you know, we're just gonna have some fun as always.
Tweek is great, don't get me wrong, but for me, I like tweaking stuff, I like going into stuff and modifying stuff. I like upgrading things, making them better than how I got them. So I definitely rather build an e-bike than buy one. Definitely. Gotta get him though.
have no idea what my battery life is like. No idea. My bike just shut down. He shut down? My bike just shut down. <laughs> I don't know if it's dead. I can tell you no. By the way how it happened, I know it can't be like dead. The way how it, like how, how it feel when it happens, yeah. And I can dead for sure. I, I got a feeling and dead. It'll feel more like sand, like sand wrong. <laughs> yeah, like sand wrong, not dead. Yo, where he is? Um, I hear something where the car is. Literally, right down, play girl down. Uh, I just might uh, attack take this. So, guys, the bike literally just died on me. Quite literally, the bike just died on me. The thing that I feared really just died on me, guys. The bike just died on me, so I'm just stashing it here at this office building here at Gildan. Gonna get a ride to the van and then come up for the bike. Okay. All right, everyone. So just a quick update here. We made it home with the bike and everything. I called one of my friends that lives a bit closer where he was, so he came, got me, took me to my vehicle, and I went back for the bike. So I just had to stash it as you saw. All right, so we made it home. We plugged in the battery. For me, it was a bit odd, you know, the battery dying so fast because I know these batteries are 25 amp hours. Yeah, I was pushing the bike a bit hard, but it was just kind of odd to me that the bike would just, you know, just shut down just like that as if it was dead. So, so you can still hear the horn is going a bit and then it dies so that what made me that's what made me think that okay the battery is just super dead to the point where the horn doesn't even go but um i came home i plugged in the bike for about two hours now or three hours tried to turn it on same thing so now we're actually here inside of the thing um inside of the control panels so yeah this bike actually has two controllers and that is for the sake of being able to control the two motors separately now, I was saying earlier that I didn't know if the bike was actually dead because of the fact that the display actually died as well. That display is dead. So I actually didn't know what percent the battery was on or anything. And here, uh, if you guys can see, this is actually a fuse here on the positive coming from the battery. So we have the positive and the negative here straight from the battery. It comes into here and then it splits off to one controller and to the other controller. So you see we have a fuse here as well on this split. So what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna check these fuses. Now this one, if you can tell, I'm not sure, but this fuse actually, like it's actually melted. Cause usually guys, I don't know if you know this, but these controllers get very hot sometimes. Literally it's like, you can't even touch it. It gets super hot sometimes, right? And they're all just closed up in this box. And outside it was very hot to begin with. So, I think all of that is what caused too much heat and it probably just, you know, too much heat got to this fuse. Maybe one of these controllers was actually resting on the fuse and melted it down and blew the fuse. 
and I believe that's where the issue is.